Good morning. So today I am going to try to do a little bit of bike birding. <laughs> Never done this before. Um, I have a couple cool roads that are quiet and run along a river and stuff like that. So I'm going to take the bike, try to listen and see what I can see. Since the COVID-19 requirements of quarantine and all of that, it's harder to get down to Trust and Pond and other places that I really like to go to. I'm going to give this a, a whirl and see, see what happens. All right, I'll take you on my ride. Thanks. So I headed out on my ride. I really did not know what to expect. Um, on the bike now, I got to the road that I was thinking. It took me about, I think, 10 minutes or so. But where I am, it's, it's an absolutely beautiful road, and they just paved it, which even makes it easier to ride because it was full of bumps um, just a mere two weeks ago. Pretty much what I'm going to do is uh, go very slow, see if I can hear anything. I did see two blue-gray gnat catchers when I first started. I might pull the bike over at times in different spots, probably right where I am right now and uh, see what I can hear. I can definitely hear some pine wobblers. I think I just saw a thrush. Oh, there's a cardinal. So, yeah, we're gonna uh, give you a little bit of a, uh, an idea of where I am, and then I will try to do some birding. Song sparrows are one of the really common um, sparrows around. They're usually one of those sparrows that you would call an LBJ, a little brown job. Um, they have streaky breasts, and a lot of times you can see the main spot in the middle of their breast, and that's a good identification. This would be a great spot to see Phoebes right now. Um, they love to be under the bridge. Uh, the water is a great, oh. As I say that, one just landed in front of me. Um, they love to uh, go after the insects, especially right now, mayflies, stuff like that, all around the water. just started to listen as best I could. There was a lot of birds, I just couldn't see them. <laughs> my goal was to just really listen. I've noticed before riding my bike that I hear so many birds on the side of the road. This guy gives the telltale signs of a Louisiana water thrush just bobbing his tail up and down, up and up and down. And also, they're really loud. A lot of times you find these um, birds near more running water. The road I got on at this point, I think, was Gibson Hill Road and rode down there until I saw a field and I figured I'd stop. Five, five and a half miles, but it stopped quite a few times. Oh. It's pretty cool. It's a kind of a pain because you're stopping constantly if you hear a bird. But I have seen a Louisiana water thrush. I just saw a blue bird in the field I just showed you. I saw a yellow throated vireo, a lot of Phoebes, lots of tif uh, tufted titmice, and chickadees, and it's a uh, a little bit of exercise and then a little bit of resting, a little bit of exercise, a little bit of resting. So I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to end up at um, Nichols Farm. Down the road a little bit, little bit there's Nichols Farm and I'm going to head there and probably put the bike somewhere and just walk around for a little bit. Okay. A huge surprise as I was going towards Nichols Farm was meeting up with this red fox. 
I rode down Gibson Hill Road and now I went through uh, Carbuncle Pond. Uh, there was quite a few people there fishing and stuff. So I came back up and now I'm on Nichols Farm area, management area. I pretty much have the place to myself. It's gorgeous. Hearing quite a few birds. I'm going to set the bike down and and uh, try to see if I can just walk around a little bit. I'm not quite prepared to walk around in terms of like having tick uh, prevention stuff on and everything. But I'll... Uh, I'll walk around a little bit and I can hear quite a few birds in the woods over there so I'm going to turn the turn the camera around and and I'll let you see what I'm seeing because it is pretty pretty beautiful on a, a gorgeous end of April uh, day. It really is pretty back in Nicholas Farm if you've never been around in this uh, river springtime so obviously the river was running pretty good. It's like short small waterfalls. So I walked around a little bit, went down by the river, followed the um, trail a little bit. Not too many things, a lot of pine wobblers, um, some towies. Not too, too much, um, but it's late in the day. It's like 3 o'clock, so as I said, I'm going to head out and maybe head down the road a little bit more and see what I can find. Well, it sure is quiet. This is Broadwall Farm. It's, I think, one of the prettier farms around here. The only birds I ended up seeing were these roosters and then a morning dove that I almost ran over. At this point, I think the cows were telling me to go home, and that's what I did. So, I'm back. Um, I went for a long time today, but that's okay, because I had nothing else to do. And um, it was fun on the bike. It's definitely a lot more work, which is okay on days like this. Um, but it's definitely not a quick process. I... Uh, you know, I stopped along the road many, many times. However, I have to say the two places that I was my destination to, I did barely saw any birds and all the cool birds I saw um, were actually on the road, um, like just on the side roads. So that was pretty cool. Um, all right. Well, it was it was a, a, an experiment and I probably will do it again. Um, finding different places, I'll probably take my bike elsewhere instead of starting from my house. And uh, I'll take you with me. So, all right. Other than that, good birding.